So what did you think about the BFG trailer? Um, oh yeah, um, oh yeah, there were, those were actually the only things I put on my notes because it's, since this is the first time I've ever done something like this, I thought I would be able to just kind of go in and take notes as we watch the movie, but. Yeah, it's like dark in there. Yeah, like, it's impossible to see what you're writing on paper, so I just kind of gave up after the previews. But, uh, yeah, so the first one they showed, as you mentioned, was a BFG, a Disney movie that seems to have Steven Spielberg's name attached to it or something. Yeah, it's actually, it's uh, based on a novel. Well, I've never read the book, and uh, there was a cartoon back in the day, and I, I know I watched part of it as a kid, but I, I honestly don't remember it that well. I know a lot of people are pretty nostalgic about it and probably excited about the movie, but uh, yeah, it does. It looks interesting. I mean, uh, decent enough special effects. They didn't blow me away or anything, but you know, it's Steven Spielberg. Um, yeah, could be the good. Characters do seem friendly enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is the big likeable. friendly giant. Yeah. You better, you better be friendly. Yeah, and the second one is a. Uh, second one they showed was called The Shallows. Oh, The Shallows, right. It was by Sony, I guess. Yeah, and and I'd, I'd actually seen this trailer before. Um, yeah, at online. first I thought it was going to be some kind of Jaws movie or, or like a revival of the series. But... <laughs> I mean, um, I'll admit, it actually doesn't look that bad from what they portrayed. I, I mean, it seems like a really simple situation to put a human in and then... Yeah, it's going to be an intimate movie with one character dealing with a uh, bunch of sharks and yeah. the shore is just a little bit too far away for it to get to. I don't know, that, I, I think that could actually potentially be a good movie. And then the third one they showed, um, yeah, the rest of these I just mostly wrote the title of the movies, uh, Kubo and the Two String? Oh yeah, Another the animated, animated one. Yeah. That looks really interesting. I think of all the trailers we watched tonight, uh, th that one's the most intriguing to me. Yeah. I wonder if it's based off of a lore or something from a... Yeah, I don't know. I gotta do more research yeah, on that one never to see heard of it. the source material. Uh, the animation style looked really interesting. It was like stop motion, but I'm pretty sure it's computer generated. Yeah. But. Uh, yeah, that one, that, if you haven't seen that trailer, you should check it out. That looks interesting. Yeah, and then the uh, fourth and third animated movie, Secret Life of Pets. Um, yeah, that, that trailer didn't do a whole lot for me. Yeah, it, it was not interested at all. Which is too bad, because I remember a teaser trailer for that coming out like a year ago that was floating around online, where... It was just showing, it was a bunch of like random b-roll footage I guess, or just the random, it showed the scene with the dog listening to the rock music, it was mostly just little gags like that, and that trailer was actually a lot more interesting than this one. It was yeah, kinda... it seemed like this trailer, they were just throwing out all their best materials in hopes that you'll see it. Yeah. And that's not a good sign. I felt all the trailers tonight were just showing way too much, but that's kind of, I feel that way about most movie trailers. Um, if you keep watching our movie reviews, you'll notice I'll probably bring this up again. I hate, hate the way modern trailers are handled these days, at least in America. Yeah, maybe we can do another video on that. Yeah. And the last preview they showed was Jason Bourne. Oh, another totally Jason forgot Bourne about movie. that. Um, yeah, back to form. Matt Damon is back as Jason yeah. Bourne. How old is that guy? Not sure, uh, not sure. I mean, he's, he's looking older now. He's yeah. definitely not a young man anymore, but... Seems to keep in fair shape. Um, the audience we were watching this, uh, the movie with tonight, they, they seemed really excited about this new Jason Bourne movie. I think that got some of the most reactions, actually. Um, I, I haven't seen all the Jason Bourne movies. I've only really yeah. seen the first one, and I think part of, uh... The second one? Yeah, part of the second one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like the first one actually. Very good. Uh, it's been so long. For for a movie that uses a lot of jump cuts and like a lot of shaky can, um, I felt that actually worked really well with the first Jason Bourne movie. Um, I hate it in most movies, but it, I thought it fit the uh, the tone and the uh, 
kind of the themes of that movie really well. So yeah, I am a little interested in the new Jason Bourne movie. Yeah, uh, um, catch up though. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've seen those movies. I, I wouldn't actually mind binge watching. The how many movies have they made? Were there three and then? Yeah, then they had the one with that other guy. Uh, yeah, I honestly don't remember. I'm not like a huge fan of the series, but uh, yeah. I respect it for what it's done so far. I don't pretend my, to follow the eyes keep things. watering for some reason. Thinks my allergies are finally kicking back in. I've yeah. been taking my allergy it's, medication it's since been this morning. It's been killing us for the past couple of weeks. Yes, it has. Um, um, so that was basically all the trailers, and I guess we can go into the main picture. Yeah. I'm not sure how to start this one. So Warcraft. Um, I yeah. guess we should start off by saying that we played... We haven't played World of Warcraft, but the first three Warcraft games, those are really important to us as gamers. We grew up on the Warcraft series um, without knowing anything about it. We walked into the store one day and saw Warcraft and Warcraft 2 sitting right next to each other on the store shelves, and the, uh, the box art captured our attention and our imagination. Mm -hmm. We picked up the boxes, read the back, bought them both all that day without really knowing anything else. And uh, play the I think what happened, it, I think we made a button one of them, and then the second game we got as a gift later. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. We, we saw the second game there, but we got the first first just so we wouldn't be yeah. diving into something that we didn't know anything about. I remember this because we were in a fast food restaurant when we opened this gift. <laughs> yeah, so the, um, this movie uh, focuses on the events of the first game. Um, Works in humans. Yeah. Yeah, even our dad actually liked playing the first couple Warcraft games. That's, yeah. that's how cool those games are. I wonder if he would have been interested in this. Uh, he might one of these days. I'll have to ask him. Yeah. He actually beat Warcraft 2 before we did. <laughs> oh, man. We did not use strategy. Oh, we were terrible at strategy games back then. So back to the movie. Um, yeah, I'm kind of avoiding I, a little bit. I do remember before going into this, there were a lot of mixed reactions to the movie. It's You're been in development kind of in the... for 10 years. Yeah, um, since 2006. Uh, yeah, it's kind of crazy to knows. think about. So this is the culmination of 10 years of effort on Blizzard's part and uh, Legendary Pictures and Atlas. Yeah, Atlas. Um, not, yeah. It's, I went into the movie with low expectations and honestly, like, first, right off the bat, I can say I, I did enjoy myself tonight. Yes. Yeah. Um, it, it's not I, a terrible movie. Yeah, don't believe in that kind of negativity. Yeah, yeah, it's really not that bad. Um, I think because it's a video game adaptation, people like to be harder on them. Yeah, that might be part of it. People but, are always pretty harsh with video game movies. I mean, not to but, say that the movie didn't have any problems. Oh, but, no, this movie has a lot of problems, and we'll get to it. Uh... I guess I want to start with the some positive. Yeah, let's start with some of the stuff we liked about it. Um, why, why don't you start? Well, for somebody who hasn't really visited the world of Warcraft in such a long time, uh, it seemed like they tried really hard to fit in as much lore as they could. Mm -hmm. These were obviously people who were familiar with Warcraft in general, and yeah, it follows the source material very closely. That's, yes, they. Uh, to be commended. Show the orcs leaving their land of Diratan, which is dying, and mm -hmm. they come from a dying world. They don't exactly explain everything right off the bat, but uh, eventually you do find that it's one of their, uh, well, their lead warlock is is part of the reason why their world died, with uh, his ability to suck the life out of, well, life pretty much. He's using yeah, it to, as the source of his power. Yeah, and it uh, it affects the world around them. And so now they've fled to the human and the uh, dwarf and elf world in order to Ezra. find somewhere they can live. And uh, if things don't change, you know, that world is going to go the same way as the orc world did. Um, and there's a particular orc clan who, uh, I mean, they're kind of following along, but they're also kind of questioning some of these decision making. Anyway, yeah, it, it follows the source material yeah. closely and that, that's so pretty sad. cool. The the aesthetics of the movie and the look of the movie, I thought they nailed it like really yeah, well. It, if you've ever really played, looked like you were watching a 
random CGI I've seen from the actual games. But like a really you, good CGI. Yes. Um, the, the movie looks great. Uh, the, the, the color palette is good. dead on. Yeah, the, the orcs look great. Um, of course, you know, when they interact with the human characters one-on-one, -on -one, you can still tell it's CGI, but there's a few scenes in particular where when it's just like a couple orcs talking to each other, um, it really is quite convincing, I thought. Yeah, I was really engaged with the inner conflicts they all had while trying to make the best out of the situation they're in. Yeah. Um, I think they did that much better than the human side. Yeah, the, you know, the, the stars of this movie really are the orcs. They, um, yeah, the orcs just shine in this movie. Uh, you, you care way more about them than any of the other characters in the movie. You care about their plight. Uh, you, you get to know them much better than you get to learn about the humans and the other characters, and we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, yeah, because there's so much they're trying to fit in, it, it seemed like there were times where they're, oh, well, particularly the beginning where they were showing things that were going on with the human side, it almost felt like it was on fast forward. It, yeah, the, uh, like, there was the, a lot more they wanted to show, but they couldn't because, well. Yeah, the pacing on the human side of the story was always a lot of quick cuts, a lot of very short scenes. Um, some pretty poorly written dialogue I'm, I'm gonna be honest the, the script for some of the mostly the human yeah. side of things and the alliance it was just not that good you you don't care really about any of those characters um did you um I mean, not, I'd go to a degree but it... yeah there's this uh, oh, he's a sorcerer's apprentice who's like left his uh, guild essentially but he ends up uh, being instrumental in discovering the source of the evil and how the orcs have come into yeah. power. And that character, he's uh, yeah, he's not a great character, but I guess, yeah, in some ways, he is sort of the most well developed of that side. Yeah, the human side is mostly focused on uh, Sir Lothar, who was one of the early heroes. <laughs> of the early lore and uh yeah we used to in the video games we thought he was really cool they don't really go too deeply in what the character is he's just this really noble loyal knight who's really good at his job and so this movie didn't have a lot to work with but they didn't end up really delivering at, at all lothar yeah. he kind of comes across as a dick at first <laughs> yeah he's, he's kind of mean kind of quick to judge yeah, and you really don't get to learn much about him. He doesn't have a whole lot of substance. I, I thought the handling of Lothar was kind of yeah. kind of lame. They um, they gave him a son though. They gave him a son <laughs> who did not appear in the games at all. Not and, that I know uh, of. Th their relationship sucked. Um, yeah, they didn't really show much of them. Oh man, they maybe have two scenes together. Yeah, like exactly. They have like two scenes together. I. I couldn't even tell you the character's name. It's in my notes, but I don't... Yeah, who cares? Yeah, it's not important. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, you could look that up. Yeah, the, the dialogue and the relationships Lothar, Lothar had with the other characters is just terrible. Um, like, the, the dialogue was so bad. Like, I think he literally says at one point, like, you are my sister, just to make sure the audience knows that this character he's talking to is his sister. And they, they couldn't have uh, maybe done it a little more subtly, but no, he just says, you're my sister. Okay, that's very natural dialogue. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, the orcs, though, the, the writing on the orc side was very compelling. Yeah, I love Duratan. Yeah, Duratan is a very, very believable character that you can, you know, feel for and get behind his plight. Um, Let's see, his friend, uh, oh, who's his friend? Is it, um... I think it was Orgrim Doomhammer. Yeah, Orgrim Doomhammer. Um, he appears in the games, and, uh, he seems like a nice character, but, uh, you don't get to know him that well, but for some reason I, yeah, I he... still cared more about him than the human characters we didn't learn about. Yeah, just... and considering he's gonna play a pretty big role in the later story. Yeah, but... you think you would have, uh laid the groundwork for his character yeah, a bit more in this bit movie. Foreshadowing. But uh, his interactions with uh, Duratan are really fun. They, they have a lot of little moments, little details where it, it uh, gets across their friendship really well. 
I thought that was good. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, what other characters were there? Uh, Corona, the half orcs. Yeah, the half orc. Uh, she's she's also appears in the game, although they they highly reworked her character for this movie. They uh, in the game she's just uh, she's basically a spy for the horde, who infiltrates the human side, and eventually you have to uh, free her, so she doesn't get killed. And she doesn't play like the biggest role in in the At story. At least not within the main three games. Yeah, maybe. Unless they did something in the World of Warcraft games, I don't know. Yeah, but in this movie, they expanded her role quite a bit. Yeah, and, um, I was kind of surprised. And she has, like, the most interest... One of the most interesting characters arcs in this story, probably, because she starts off as a slave, and then joins the human side, and then has to join the orc, orc side again, and so all that is very interesting. Um, again, though, her, her dialogue was pretty bad, um with a lot of the scenes and I'm gonna be honest uh, the actress her performance ranged from bad to okay like she was she was really she had really basic dialogue yeah and you know it's not completely her fault but I mean, some of the other characters had lame dialogue too and I, I felt like she did the poorest with it yeah um, I don't know she she was not very good um. Wow. Who else was uh, there? The here? the um, the guardian. Uh, oh yeah, Medivh, the Medivh. guardian. Who? Yeah. Again. Um. Not the. Yeah. Yeah. I don't don't have a lot to say about him. He's a wizard. He's uh. His story arc is pr pretty cliche. Um. He has a few scenes in particular where he acts really weird, and it's kind of explained later, but still, for someone who's supposed to be a really wise, like, grand wizard, he's, he, he's kind of a dick and irrational at times, and, uh, he's, he wasn't horrible, though. He, he was all right. Yeah, and by the end, he does have a bit more subtlety to his performance, but, yeah, was, I guess he was fine for what it was. Uh, the the orc uh, warlock, I, I keep forgetting all these names, and here I've, I've played yeah. the games before. Um, um, Gul'dan. 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 Who's leading the hordes? Um, that that voice actor hammed it up quite a bit in a few of the scenes, especially the opening sequence. I thought it was yeah, really over dramatic. It was like, oh man, well, wh whose performance can I compare it to? Um, I don't know, just really kind of cheesy and cartoony at times, over the top, uh, enunciating his lines very carefully and forcefully and uh, over dramatically. Because he's a wizard. Because he's a wizard, I guess. I don't know. He, he really kind of annoyed me at first. It, it got a little bit better later on. But uh, the pa I actually really liked the opening of this movie. A very good, uh, pretty good pacing. You start with the orcs, and you're seeing them opening the portal to get to the realm of the Alliance. And uh, that was all pretty cool. And then, yeah, it, it, once yeah, it gets to the Alliance to the... side, it's like... You, you meet Lothar, and he immediately has, like, three or four scenes that are only, like, a couple minutes long each. And then he keeps traveling... Like, first he's so... at Iron Forge, yeah. and then the next minute he's at Stormwind. And then the next minute, he's traveling on a griffin. Yeah, it's just like, whoa, then, whoa, whoa, slow down a little bit. And then along the way, you're meeting all these characters that you don't really have time to learn about. Yeah, I imagine if you like, wanted Like, there's to... one footman who was in quite a bit of the scenes whose name I never learned. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of characters like that. They're, they're always kind of around, and they have some dialogue, but you never learn their names. And then by the time they die, oh... Yeah, who cares? Like, yeah, it's like, oh, that happens. Too bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, pretty... Pretty bad pacing. He was just jumping, like, slow down a little bit. They're jumping all over the place yeah. with all these quick cuts. And I think it would have helped if they cut down some of the characters or just not had them at all. Yeah, yeah, that definitely would have helped the pacing of things. Like, the son of Lothar, they, he, they didn't need him. He did not need to exist at all. Uh, they easily could have cut him from the movie. He served almost no purpose. Yeah. Um, and like, I don't feel bad for Lothar when he loses him because he barely bonds yeah, Spoiler him. alert, his son dies and Lothar gets really mad and emotional and... 
Uh, instead of like really showing it in a really human way, he basically gets really drunk by himself and just proclaims that he's in the most pain he's ever been in ever. And uh, you really don't see it in his face or anything. He just like says it instead of showing it and that's, uh, that's not very good. I will say uh, another positive thing about the movie though, um, Yeah. I thought the director did the best he could. Yeah. With this script. This is the director, I forget his yeah, name. I think the movie was like 140 minutes long and... But this is the director who also did Moon, which is a, a sci-fi uh, independent film that stars Sam Rockwell. And that, that yeah. movie I really enjoyed. It's, uh, he's definitely proven himself to be a good director and he did his best with the script that he had to work with. And I commend him for making the movie uh, as followable as it was, as considering yeah. it jumps around so much and you get introduced to so many characters without really learning who they are. All these weird foreign names you gotta grasp onto and try to remember. Um, like I said, they did a better job with the orc side of things. Uh, you remember them a little bit better. Yeah. I mean, in some ways they kind of did a good job in terms of the source material. I mean, if you were a fan of the games, you wouldn't find too many I mean, they definitely did some tweaks here and there, but at the same time, they definitely showed that they understand the lore and how the story went. Yeah, they and did a lot to try to appease uh, fans of the early games of Warcraft here. I don't think it did necessarily did a great job at uh, drawing people who weren't familiar with Warcraft, which... Yeah, it seems like it would be a very hard movie to follow if you didn't have any of this background information. Uh, it's hard to say though, there were a couple people in the audience that admitted that they didn't you know, play the games or know anything about it, and they seemed to enjoy it. Um, I will say yeah. the reactions with the, with the audience tonight were actually pretty positive. I only heard maybe one person complaining, but they were complaining about like, oh, you know, why didn't we see the, the elves and the dwarves fight and all this and that, and that honestly yeah. sounds like criticism from someone who's only played World of Warcraft and not the earlier yeah. Warcraft games. Cause that didn't happen until the second game. Yeah, that doesn't happen until the second game, which will, I assume, which to the be second fair, movie that's going to cover that part of the plot. Yeah, it seems like the end of the movie seems to indicate that much bigger things are to come and that mm -hmm. they will join the fight. And uh, as far as I know, this... They already made their uh, money back, and they're starting to make yeah, profit already. Yeah, they barely made their money back, well, finally. Yeah, and it's, uh, but, I think it had a, like a $150 million budget, and it's raked in like $170 million as at the time of this recording, so I have a feeling... Yeah, it's going to do fine. Yeah, it's going to do fine. They're going to make a sequel. Apparently, it's doing really well in China. Oh, yeah, in China, this movie has broken a bunch of like... Uh, box office opening records yeah, over there. So, huge fans over there. Yeah, the, the Chinese love Blizzard. They love Warcraft. They love Starcraft. So um, we should have known that they were going to clamor and go, to go see this movie. And you know, yeah. a big audience in China. So good for them for capturing that audience. Yeah. I mean, I haven't read if they're going to make another movie or not, but... I can only assume they are. Yeah, they should. Yeah. At the rate they're going at And uh, the sequel has a lot of potential to improve upon the beginning here. Exactly. The, there are a lot of things they get right. Like I said, the, the look of the movie, the aesthetics, all the designs of the buildings are instantly recognizable, um, which does help, uh, help people follow the story as they jump around to all these locations. They do have very distinct looks to them, so... You, you generally you know exactly where you are once you know they jump to some different location um, so that was good and also the orcs being kind of different uh, color coordination yeah and that, they kept that, track of them yeah that that uh, made it easier to follow which which uh, group of orcs you were you were about to watch a yeah. scene of. so that was all really good the the music was fine um, yeah can't say anything particularly stood out, but th that's that's fine. Like uh, the music shouldn't draw too much attention to itself. It should just yeah. complement what's going on. Exactly. And uh, yeah, it did it did a fine job. 
Cinematography was fine, I guess. Yeah, cinematography was fine. There were a couple of moments where it kind of reminded you of something you would see in a video game cutscene. Mm -hmm. Well, it did look like a movie at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and the editor did his best to fit in as much as he can to within fit. a 140 minute yeah, time limit. Yeah, I imagine the script must have been much, yeah, much bigger than what we see The special features are going to be much bigger, yeah. I can imagine. Some of the scenes are just so short, um, which I'm sure affected the quality of the dialogue. Because when you have to cut down scenes to just the important few lines of information that the audience needs. Like, you, you're really cutting out a lot of the uh, character moments and also the the natural progression of the conversation so it feels organic. Um, instead, they're having to cut to just, like, characters explaining things and then, okay, we're off to the next thing. Um, that, yeah, it was definitely uh, brought the movie down at times. Definitely one of the big pitfalls of the movie. Yeah, really the biggest problems of the movie you can boil down to just, uh, they're trying to fit way too much into one film. If, yeah. I think you said as we were leaving the theater, this probably would have been better served as a, like a season of a television show. Yeah. And with, uh... I mean, it's the World of Warcraft. How do you... Yeah, and who knows, maybe they're going to take that direction someday, uh, you know, 15 years from now, maybe HBO or something will be producing a World of Warcraft TV series where they'll follow some of that stuff, and maybe it'll work better there, yeah. but uh, to condense the events of the one game into one movie and to try to include all the lore, like, as much as they could, it... Uh, they did the best they could, and it could have been a lot worse. Oh, like, yeah. Honestly, it should have been a lot worse, but it wasn't. And, uh, you know, you you got to give credit to the filmmakers here for making a, um, a movie that was so true to the games and still managed to boil down at least the important parts of the movie. It's really hard to kind of objectively look at the movie because yeah. we, you know, we already know all the uh, background events of these games and all these characters, and we so we know exactly what direction the story is going in. Uh, I would have to say, yeah, it's not necessarily going to draw in I think a whole lot of new fans that aren't already fans of the game. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Like I said, the audience tonight seemed to really like it. There was a couple that looked like they were in there late 60s and they came on their own accord and uh, they said to the people with them that they thought it was a good movie so maybe you know I'm not giving it as much credit as it deserves yeah, yeah it's definitely this movie I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews about um, low to mixed like I haven't heard a whole lot of high praise for this movie and I certainly don't think it deserves it um, but it doesn't deserve to be trashed either. It's, it's, uh, I enjoyed myself, like I said. Um, a lot of nice action set pieces. Uh, the orcs are really fun to watch. This, yeah, like I said, this is really their movie. Uh, when you're watching this movie, it's, it's really about the orcs. You're gonna feel for them and not care about the humans at all. <laughs> and uh, so at least they got half of it, right? Yeah. You know, they got, they got half the, the uh, perspective of that, correct? Yeah, so would you pay money to see the sequel if they if that comes into fruition? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll probably, I'll, I'm probably willing to go see a Warcraft two movie in theaters again. You know, I, like I said, it can only get better from here. I, I should hope. think. I, yeah. Unless you know, again, they try to just cram way too much. I mean, I mean, they, yeah, they do have to introduce new characters. Yeah, and they're gonna have to and... introduce the dwarves and the night elves and. Uh, so yeah, they do have a, a really big job ahead of them on the second movie. Maybe it should be cut into two, maybe, I don't know. Maybe they should try cutting down some of the uh, lore and cutting out some of the characters, because this movie had a very hard time trying to keep track of everything. And it, yeah. Yeah, maybe it could have been better if they cut a little bit out. Um, then, of course, you'd have fanboys of the video game getting up in arms and yeah. rah, 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 rah. So, you know, what this movie, so? I think it's doomed to, no matter how you 
would have made it. Like, you're not going to satisfy everyone. Nah. Yeah. You're not going to be liked by everyone. Yeah. Um, and I guess as a, a film, you really shouldn't try to be liked by everyone. Yeah. I mean, if they tried doing that, the movie would have been worse. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> the, you know, when they try to mass appeal things, they, oh, they end up making it worse than it would have been otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, would you go see Warcraft 2 movie? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it did, I mean, this movie didn't offend me at all. I didn't think it was horrible, I didn't think it was great, but, you know, I had a fun time. I like the action scenes, I like the magic, I like... Mm. Like the orcs? <laughs> yeah, love the orcs. It was fun. Yeah. So not, not a great movie, not a terrible movie. Um, it's alright, it's alright. It's alright. Any, any final thoughts? Uh, not really. Alright. You want to go see Ghostbusters with me? Uh, I... I don't know, I can't really imagine giving myself money to those jerks. They, they haven't really been handling criticism very well. And yeah, when you cram that all up into some political drama, I, it really turns me off. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're the way they've been uh, handling the criticism of, of the trailers have been pretty poor. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I was just going to say, next review, Ghostbusters, right? Am I right? We're going to see gonna, Ghostbusters. We'll see what happens. Max is going to go see it with me. Somebody's got to buy my... T Somebody's got to buy me a ticket. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, do That's I the have only... to do it? Do, do I have to buy I... you a ticket to go see Ghostbusters? I don't want to give them my money. <laughs> I don't All right, I'll, give I'll... money to people who are mean. I'll see if I can get someone else to pay for it. Anyway. Who knows? Yeah, until next time, uh, take it easy. And as always, have a good one. Bye. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Twin Opinion cares about your opinion, and your participation keeps us alive. So share your comments, hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel. You can also find Twin Opinion on Facebook or visit our website at asamiero.com.